Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl Kay from Q, and I want to welcome you to my channel if you are new. I want to welcome you back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know to keep on going. And that's what y'all want, right? All right, so show me that's what you want by liking and subscribing below. So today we are going to focus on photo pendants. So I received a couple questions this week regarding photo pendants and I want to show you which technique I use. There are multiple techniques out there. I've tried a few of them. Um, I've tried the dimensional magic, not my thing. I've tried diamond glaze, not my thing. And I've tried, I don't think I have the glue right here, but I've tried the E6. Is it 100 or 1,000? The E6 glue. You know what I'm talking about. And that one's not bad. It just takes forever to dry. My go-to is super glue. Uh, I want to say this was $4 at Walmart. So super, super affordable. And um, this is my second bottle since I've started doing the pendants. And I may have done a little over 100 pendants. So you get... You'll be able to do a lot with this small bottle. Um, so what we need, I actually am going to, it's the same technique. I am currently making pendant bracelets. So it's the same exact technique, but um, we'll be looking to do a bracelet instead of a charm. So you'll need your dome, uh -oh. Doo -doo -doo. your dome, your tray, in this case, super glue, um, your photo and scissors and I think that's it so I am going to show you first how I will get the photos to be this size I when I'm doing the actual pendants these are my great nieces I'm making their Christmas gifts this is for them but when I'm doing the pendants I have a circle cutter, which I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And unfortunately, because this is a little smaller, I have to actually draw the circle and cut it out. So if you don't have the circle cutter, you can use this technique too for the regular size pendants. So what you would do is, this is a regular size dome versus the dome I'll be using today. So you would just put the dome on top of the photo whatever you want inside of the dome make sure you're covering that completely so I just want their faces I'm then going to take oh I'm sorry you also need a pen I'm then going to take a pen a pen and draw a circle within the picture unfortunately I am on my iPad, so I can't let you all see this part, but I'll show you in a minute. But it's super simple. You're literally just drawing the... Sorry for the interruption. I had a phone call. So, like I was saying, <clears throat> you would outline the... Uh, you can't really see it. Oops. But basically, I drew an outline of the dome on the picture. You're going to take your scissors that I said we needed to cut the circle so we have our picture cut <clears throat> you're gonna place a dot all you need is a dot of super glue for the tray part because super glue adhere, adheres to paper really really well so place it in the right position because once you put this on it's super glue there's no turning back okay so boom 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 and then you want to put another because this is small, you want to put another. They won't let me be great. I've never had this many calls during a YouTube video. I won't say many. It's only been two. But anyways, I'm back. 
plug in. So <clears throat> we've got it glued in here. Do, 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 do. Perfect, perfect. It's so beautiful. I love these girls. All right, so then because this is small, I'm only going to put one dot let one dot of glue drip out on the top. It's very, this is the very, very important part. You don't wanna to put too much glue, you don't wanna put not enough glue. When I am doing the pendants, I do three dots of glue. Because what's gonna happen is, you're gonna to have to press this down. You're gonna to have to press this down really, really tight and hold it for about 30 seconds for it to seal. If you don't put enough glue on, you're gonna have bubbles within and you'll be able to see where the glue stopped. If you put too much glue on, it's gonna goose out and be on top of the dome. That is ugly. We don't wanna do that. So I'm actually gonna grab a new dome because at this point that one has a lot of fingerprints on it. You don't wanna do that either because you're gonna be able to see that. So it's very careful you handle these with care because everything that happens within this dome is going to be the super glue is going to make it come out and you'll be able to see that and you don't want to sell that baby so my one uh oh uh oh make sure it don't drip out this 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 part is very very important and requires a lot of attention and patience so i want one drop to drip out Boom, one dot done. Put it on, and just like that, you weren't able to see it, but the glue, once I pressed it down, the glue spread, which is what we want to cover the entire picture so that it'll all seal together. But remember, if you put too much glue, once it's spread, it'll start to goose out because you're applying pressure on this dome. You don't want that. And once you hold it for about 30 seconds, you good. You good, baby. We in there, baby. And it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, wrap, wrap. They're gonna love these. I had already did one, so it's gonna be two. I love my babies. All right, so that is that. I am hoping everyone can get this smearing down pack because I see a lot of people have questions about the smudging that it does. And I've had that problem using the different glues, but I never had that problem using super glue. So like I said, it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of attention, but you can do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.